Hello, and welcome to Beginning Level English for Elementary. My name is Miss Lewis, and I'm excited to work with you today. All week, we have been looking at routines, or things that you do again and again at different parts of your day. Today, we're going to focus on routines at bedtime and nighttime. We're going to focus on the letters EEP that make the sound EEP. We're going to look at some vocabulary about going to bed. And then we're going to read a book and talk about what we do with those same words. Let's get started. So we're working on three letters first, and they are E, E, P. I have three letters, but let's count the sounds. E, P. Two sounds. So repeat after me. E, E, P. That makes the sound EEP. Good. Let's look at some words with this pattern. My first word starts with an S, L, and then EEP. My word is sleep. Look at the picture. Sleep. Repeat after me. Sleep. Good. This next word has two letters in front. S, H. But I know the letters SH make the sh sound. So my word is sh eep, sheep, this kind of animal. Repeat after me. Sheep. Good. Let's look at this word. I see E E P and two letters in front. S W. Sw. So s w. Eep. Sweep. Good job. Please repeat after me. Sweep. Very good. And I can see they're going to clean the floor with a broom to sweep. This is our last word. It's this kind of car. And it's j. Eep. Jeep. Please repeat after me. Jeep. Good. I like how you're breaking apart and separating the letters and sounds to read the word. Now let's do some sentences and find the picture. I'll read it, we'll read it together, and then you read it. I go to sleep at 8.30 p.m. Let's read it together. I go to sleep at 8.30 p.m. Good. And I see my word sleep, sleep. Now it's your turn. Good. Now point or circle the picture that shows I go to sleep at 8.30 p.m. Yes, very good. Here it is. Number two. I see two sheep on the farm. Let's read it together. I see two sheep at the farm. Now it's your turn. Very good. Here's my word, sheep. Which picture shows that? Yes, good job. Number three. I sweep the floor. Let's read it together. I sweep the floor. Good. Your turn to read it. Excellent. And here is, oh, which picture shows this? Yes, there's for sweep. Good job. Number four. It should be, it says, I mom drives a Jeep. We should change it to, let's just say, mom drives a Jeep. Okay, let's read it together. Mom drives a Jeep. Good. Now your turn. Very nice. 
Which picture shows this? Yes, there it is. Very good. We're ready to get started with our vocabulary for bedtime. I want you to look for another word that has the EEP, EEP sound in it. So our first vocabulary about nighttime is called clean up. If I look in the picture, I can see they're doing lots of things. Okay, she's going to sweep. Here she's going to do the dishes and wash them. And they're cleaning the floor. So for this one, if I want to show clean up, I might pretend to do this, or I might sweep. Hmm, what do I do at night? Usually I sweep. Okay? So repeat after me. Clean up. Good. And I want you to pretend to clean up. Or you might pretend to pick up and put your toys and your clothes away. Clean up. Good. Another thing you might do at night is to take a shower. Look at the picture. What is that boy doing? Yes, he's going to clean his body with water. Mm -hmm. So the word is, or phrase is, take a shower. Please repeat after me. Take a shower. Good. For this one, I'm going to pretend that I take a shower and wash my hair. Good. So I want you to try. Take a shower. Excellent. Our next one, it says, put on pajamas. And look at the picture. Yes, her clothes are clothes that she will sleep in. Her pajamas. Repeat after me. We're going to do it in two parts. Pajamas. Very good. One more time. Put on pajamas. Excellent. For this, I'm going to pretend I'm putting on my pajamas. Can you do it too? Yes. Put on pajamas. Excellent. Our last one says go to sleep. Easy, right? Repeat after me. Go to sleep. Very good. So now let's go through and read them together. Clean up. Take a shower. Put on pajamas. Go to sleep. Excellent. Now I'm going to say what two of the words and I want you to do the movement. Are you ready? Clean up. Did you clean up? Good job. Put on pajamas. Did you put your pajamas on? Excellent. Now I'm going to do the movements and I want you to say what they are. Yes, take a shower. What is that? Yes, go to sleep. Great job. Now we're ready to read our book. This says, when is nighttime? Nighttime is when the moon rises. When the stars shine, it is nighttime. The lights go out when it is bedtime. Good. So these are all things that show us when it's nighttime with the moon, the stars, and when we turn the lights off. Great. 
So what do you do at bedtime? Here's an example. So at bedtime, first, I take a shower. There's a picture here where I'm washing my hair and getting cleaned up. So we have our phrases, but I changed it to I take a shower to say what I am doing. What else can we do? Next, hmm, what do you do? That can be a good one. And we can use some other ones from here. Next, I put on pajamas. I'm using the vocabulary here to fill in this section. So first, I take a shower. Next, I put on pajamas. And I can draw a picture of pajamas here. Good. Last, give me another thing that you do. You can use these words, or you can put something like, next, I read a book. For, before we get to our last activity, we want to make sure that we're talking. And my question is, what is your favorite part of bedtime? Favorite is something that you like. So what is your favorite part of bedtime? You can answer, my favorite part of bedtime is, hmm, my favorite part of bedtime is to clean up? No. My favorite part of bedtime is to read a book with my family. I think that my son would say, my favorite part of bedtime is to go to sleep. Use these words here. You can ask other people in your house or your friends, what is your favorite part of bedtime? This is our review. Let's match the sentences with our pictures. I will read it. We can read it together and then you read it. Number one, nighttime is when the moon rises. Let's read it together. Nighttime is when the moon rises. Your turn. Excellent. Now, where do you see the moon? Which picture? Yes, very good. And we know we can always go back and use our book to help us. Number two. Nighttime is when the stars shine. Nighttime is when the stars shine. Great job. Which picture shows this? Yes. Number three. Nighttime is when the lights go out. Nighttime is when the lights go out. Your turn. Yes. And the last one. Nighttime is when I go to sleep. Nighttime is when I go to sleep. Excellent. You guys have done a great job in this. I want you to go back and practice some of our other routines from this week, and you can reread those to practice the different letters and sounds and our new vocabulary. You have done a great job in all the activities for week five. I'm very proud of you. I miss you. Have a great day, and I'll see you again later. Bye.